Let's get up here. First things first, we have Kathy Boob in the house and Levy Cunningham and lovely son over here. After the press conference, we're just going to ask the lovely wife, what did you think of Mr. Tyson Fury? I think he talks a good game. I think that he did what he was supposed to do. He showed up today and ran his mouth. I hope we sell some tickets. Um, but he's got to fight. He knows he has to fight. You know, people that are confident and, you know, feel good about their skills don't have to run their mouth like that. So, I hope he's ready. Steve is always ready. We'll, we'll be there. I hope he's ready to fight. Kathy, what is your expectations from this Fury Cunningham fight at the Garden? I expect it's going to be sold out and a lot of fun. I can't wait. Now we're going to talk about a couple other things. Now, uh, let's say with the last fight with Cunningham and Adamick. Now, that went down and, you know, with the judges, situation like this. Now, what is the future with Adamick? Especially when he pulled out and he didn't want to fight Blue Wolf. Are you still his promoter? Are you still working with him? How's that whole situation going on? Um, with him? He, he decided that he would like to move on uh, and, and perhaps make some events for himself over in Poland. So, you know, we have great respect for Tomasz and he can, you know, we wish him the best in his career and his, the door is always open uh, if he decides he wants to come back. So this is pretty much his uh, his walk away and let him do what he has to do on his own. So now we move forward. And, and our hope is that you know we'll be working with him again in the future. Um, it's just you know he's been part. Of, we've all been family for each other for a very long time, and we always will be. And uh, there's a future. Whatever goes, is, I just wish him the very best. There's a future in the heavyweight division. People like Brian Jennings. How's his future right now? Who's on his radar? Who would you see him fighting coming up? We've, we've tentatively slotted him to fight on uh, June 14th. On NBC Sports Network. I don't know who the opponent's going to be yet. I'm working on that right now. Now you have uh, the last event that you had, uh, Kovalov. Uh, amazing win on him. Yeah. What's the uh, future on his radar? Sergey Kovalov's going to be the light heavyweight champion in the world. It's a matter of win. Uh, we're working to get him uh, as, as big and important a fight as we possibly can as quickly as he can because at this moment there's nobody in that division that he can't beat. The gentleman that fought Scott, I just can't ever pronounce his name. Uh, the last fight the, the gym, yeah, Zar Glasgow. Zar Glasgow. For some reason, can't put it. Look at that. And I was born in this country, but still, got Eastern <laughs> European blood in me. Uh, well, there was a draw, but there was a little controversy behind that. Uh, what do you see with him? You know, he fought a uh, he fought a guy who was very difficult to look good with. Uh, there's a lot of controversy over the scoring of that fight. You know, I think the draw was kind of right because I don't think either one of them did enough to win. Uh, but uh, you know, you'll notice, and, and this is the case with Steve too. When, when you see these controversies, judges tend to give more credence to the guy who's clipping forward. Whether that's right or wrong, that's how it works. So, uh, Zor got the benefit of that a little bit, but frankly, uh, he, he needs to do more to beat somebody like Billy Scott. So, I think they both go forward uh, after that fight, and I'm still very interested to see. He's, he's only got about 16 fights. I think he's going to be a force in the heavyweight division eventually. I can honestly say for the past five years, main events, Stampede has grown win. You guys have a lot, a lot of fighters. You have even Curtis uh, Showtime Stevens over here in the house. I mean, it's just growing, growing. What's the uh, future with him? Because he's talking about he won't go off kids, but he said the promoter got to gotta pretty much get on that one uh, with the contracts. How's that looking about? We would love to move Curtis in again. He's ready to move quickly. However, he's only fought, I think, three rounds in the last two or three years. We've got to get him some rounds. So he's going to be on the show on an eight-rounder on April 20th at the Garden. Uh, he's always exciting and fun to watch. We're going to keep him as active as we can and get him rounds until we can get him into a title fight. He's ready to. Last question to, last question to Levy over here. How is the whole camp with Cunningham going on? As his manager's wife, you see everything, so. Yeah, no, it's amazing. I'm there. I'm in the gym with him every day. Um, you know, I've been setting up camp, and it's been going great. Steve, you know, Steve doesn't sit down. So he was back in the gym shortly after his fight in December. So um, we're rolling right into camp. It's going great. Brother Nazim is really happy with the progress so far. Um, he's making great adjustments, and we're excited. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, ladies.